Hey everyone, uh, today's tool that I'm sharing is a CAD file importer for Houdini. Now, uh, disclaimer, um, this will not just work with just Houdini itself. You actually need Moi 3D for this, which is 3D CAD NURBS modeling software. Uh, it's not free. If you have to buy it, it's like 300 bucks, but you have it for the rest of your life. That's a lifetime license. Uh, but also if you have Octane, which is my case, it actually comes for free with your Octane subscription. So you might already have access to it and not even be aware of it. Uh, but just to get it out of the way, I'm sorry if you don't have that, but uh, currently I don't think there's any other way of importing uh, CAD files directly into Houdini without opening a different software. And this just kind of like simplifies the process. So it's kind of like a MOI 3D import bridge, if you want to call it that. But so how do you use it? Uh, you, let's drop down the MOI 3D CAD importer in a Geonode. I'm gonna go in here and select a step file. And you can see uh, these are the files it supports. Um, and then you just hit import. You let it run in the background for a moment and you will have your CAD file imported and working. Um, it does bake out a file for you and you can change the output folder here and you can actually see this is the generated file name that it puts it out and automatically just takes the input name and, and renames it. Um, yeah, you can change that if you want, but generally I would recommend to kind of stick with the settings if you can. Um, so yeah, so that's working. We can change the settings. So let's, for example, change this angle setting here. Um, import, let it bake for a moment. Um, tweaking this and having to wait for the update is, is maybe not always the best thing. And so you can actually, um, if you turn off hide UI and make sure show MOI windows on, turned on, and now if you click import, um, it will actually open the MOI window just for your import. You can tweak your settings in here. Uh, let's, for example, let's go down with the angle to three, zero five. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't really use this setting much, but we can play with it and see what happens. Okay, and then whenever you're done, you just hit, hit okay and it ports it already, and you're good to go. Uh, yeah, that's generally how it works. It does work with a, with tops too, so if you want to batch process a bunch of these. Moi already gives you UVs, but they're generally kind of stretched and not ideal. So the easiest way to kind of fix these is to use UV flatten, and then uh, make sure you click preserve seams. And this will like preserve the UV seams that Moi gives you, but um, it like lays it out. So if we go here into UV report, you can see that it actually does a pretty decent job. And so it, maybe you want to tweak some things yourself, depending on what your plan is for this. That's the tool. If you're if Moi is not installed in this location, uh, you will have to, you know, pull it up, and uh, you might want to save that as a permanent default for your computer. One last note is that unfortunately this does not work for. Linux or Mac at the moment, uh, just because this specifically pulls up the Windows command shell to run these commands under the hood. But I'm sure that probably wouldn't be too hard to make this get this to work for a Mac. Also, I just I don't have Apple and I don't really use Linux. So if someone wants to figure that out, it's all open in there. So feel free to tweak that or modify it. Um, if you get it to work, I'm happy to include it in the release uh, some way. Yeah, that's all. Thanks, guys.